Well, some would say it was one of the country's worst kept secrets, but today Toronto MP Olivia Chow made it official and the Toronto mayoralty campaign gained another candidate. Chow wasn't talking about her decision to run today, but as Ron Charles tells us, her rivals wasted no time pulling her into the fray. Hi, how are you? How are you? This may look like a campaign stop, but Rob Ford says he's visiting this public housing building to ask tenants about conditions. No bed bugs, no cockroaches. Once pressed for it, he does offer his opinion of the latest high-profile candidate to enter the race for his job. She makes David Miller look like a conservative. <laughs> How is Sorry. Going so I, well, I had to. You're making me. You're forcing me to court. I got to take an early shot. In that early shot, he compares Olivia Chow to former Toronto Mayor David Miller, who was left of centre. Chow resigned her seat as an NDP Member of Parliament this morning and then registered to run for mayor. But she's waiting until tomorrow to talk about why. That left Ford to grab today's spotlight. I've got a proven track record. I've had a proven track record for 14 years. I'm going to have it for another f four years, and uh, I just can't wait till October 27th at 8 o'clock. Another high-profile candidate is former provincial Conservative leader John Tory. His campaign spokeswoman welcomed Chow to the race, but also took a shot at Chow's NDP you know, background. With, uh, with Ms. Chow, uh, you know, she's never seen a public dollar that she doesn't want to spend. So we have real concerns about, you know, what she's going to bring to the table that way. Chow is familiar with Toronto City Hall. Before going into federal politics, both she and her late husband Jack Layton were city councillors. This political science professor expects Chow to be as careful as other candidates it, it, about evident. spending proposals. All, all of the contenders have gotten the message that uh, the public wants a mayor who is attentive to fiscal responsibility. Uh, the question is, what else do the voters want? Everyone offering opinions about the race to become mayor of Toronto adds one important caveat. A lot can happen, a lot will happen between now and election night in eight months. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.